juicy chicken, anybody? Welcome, sizzling smokers. Hey, thanks for pulling up a seat at the table. It's a beautiful Sunday here in the Queen City. Riders got their first victory last night. And before the game, we stopped in at the Rebellion Tap House. Had an amazing pre-game meal. Pulled pork pizza, tacos, some golden crush off the taps. So you got to go to check out Rebellion's Brew House on Dudney Avenue. But anywhere in the world you are today, we're going to give you a little taste of greatness. We're going to use their peach sour smoothie beer. You can use any kind of beer you want, whatever you have, Corona, doesn't matter. We're going to make peach beer batter, deep fried chicken. We're going to cut up the whole chicken. You might remember this Bass Pro fish fry kit that we used on a previous video. We're going to use that today. You don't need that. As long as you have a pot and a couple inches of oil, you're in business. This is going to be worth it. Let's show you how to make everything from scratch right after the intro. Okay, this is pretty exciting. Got this whole chicken. We're gonna turn it into that amazing peach beer batter. But there's a couple steps you need to do. First of all, we need to make our our uh, dredge that we're gonna to toss the chicken in after we cut it up. And for that, we're going three cups of flour. And I'm gonna put this recipe in the comments. Easiest way to find it. Three cups of flour, a couple teaspoons of salt. This is not the batter. This is what you're gonna coat your chicken in before you put it in the batter, but it's still very important. That's a quarter teaspoon. It's a half, come on, where's the full? Yeah, two full teaspoons of pepper, beautiful. Now go back to that salt, add another one and a half. Now, I like my spicy, as you might know by now. Two full teaspoons of cayenne pepper. Got me in the lungs. You can use, use one, use half, don't use any. Onion powder. One of those. And one paprika. This is a really simple mixture you'd probably use in lots of different barbecuing. Whisk it up, get a fork, get a fork and kind of give it a good beating. It's almost mixed in already just even from that. Step number one. Now I'm going to give this a quick whisk. We'll come back to step number two. Okay, so we have our flour seasoning ready to go. Now, two eggs. The super ingredient, nice can of the Rebellion Peach Sour. Uh, wherever you are, pretty much anywhere now, you can get 10 million kind of, uh, not peach sours, but you can get your favorite craft beer, whatever that may be, put the whole can in here. Now, if you're in Regina, Saskatchewan, passing through <laughs> anywhere, you've got to get on the Rebellion train. What they're just doing is just incredible, silky smooth, punchy in the mouth flavor beer. I, I couldn't be a bigger fan of it. Sometimes you just want a nice beer with flavor. Like, look at the froth on this. That's why it works so good in the uh, as a batter. And then think over in London, how they use fish and chips for centuries. That's beer batter. Now, one and a third cups of flour. You don't just dump it all in because it could cake up. Get your whisk, keep stirring. 
the beer is nice and frothy. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. I mean, you can't really see it yet. See, when you go like that, if it's kind of dripping off, you're very close. That's pretty close. I'm gonna hit it with our sizzle and smoke uh, seasoning. If you don't have this, use some salt and pepper. Cajun seasoning. Like I like to use things with a bit more flavor. Now this is thickening up nicely. Yeah, I can already tell when I put the chicken in there, it's gonna coat nicely. I'm gonna add just a touch more flour because I really want this to be a nice thick batter. See that the way she kind of, it doesn't just come off your spatula like in or whisk. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put this in the fridge, set up a bit more. Then we're going to cut up this whole chicken. I told you, this is from scratch. This is real cooking. Sizzling smoke, baby. Back in business. Hey, and I know if you know what you're doing when you're butchering chickens, I did take the thighs off. On the bottom part there, just two thighs, boom, took those. I took them off. Okay, take your chunk of chicken. Dip it in your seasoning. Flip it around. Beautiful. Oh, the peach. The peach batter is just incredible. Smells incredible. Double Duncan. Back into the flour. Are you kidding me, folks? It's going to be amazing. Let's take a drumstick for you to see. Just toss that so it gets in all the nooks and crannies. And like you don't have to be a, a, a genius to make this batter. You see how easy it was? Flour and beer. Like anyone can do this. Look how it coats. That is on there nice. Back into the flour. Oh come on I'm loving it. Like even if you're living in a small apartment in the and you have a balcony, get out like a portable burner. They're not hard to find. Go buy a $60 deep fryer if you want. Make it easy. Get yourself $10 chicken. Make an amazing meal for weeks. I just can't say enough about it. Cheers, Rebellion. Finished off my chicken. You don't got to stick around for that. And another trick so your batter does not fall off. Maybe your grandma doesn't know this one. Restaurants know it. I know it. Once they're all coated, put them back in the fridge for about half an hour. When you take them and hit that oil, it'll all stick. Sizzle and smoke tip right there. Okay, the next time you see me, we're dunking this in hot oil. We're cracking another rebellion. We're cooking. It's sizzle and smoke. All right, sizzling smokers, we're back at a beautiful 325 degrees. Our chicken's been chilling in the fridge. It looks amazing. Ooh, we are hitting the oil. Uh, that extra tip about leaving it in the fridge for 35 minutes to set up is amazing. The oil is clean and fresh. Let's hit the close-up cam. Oh, that's beautiful. And you always drop the chicken into the oil. Don't put it in the basket and then put it down or it'll stick to the bottom. Look at that sizzling. Rebellion peach beer batter. And remember folks, if you don't have one of these beautiful uh, Bass Pro Shop fish fryers, hey, go get one 50 bucks. You can't do that. Just get one of your old uh, cooking pots, a couple inches oil. Still works just fine. I wish I had smell vision on this one. Oh, and this is tough work, cooking like this. Whew. You can hang out with your guests. 
Pineapple sour. Sour beer, yeah. Trust me, guys. If they did a DNA test on me, I'd probably have Bud Light and Coors Light in my bones still. But once you try Rebellion, it opens up a whole new world. That is awesome. Have you tried it yet? Mmm. What a great batter. Takes about 20 minutes. Cook the chicken if it's floating, you know it's done. I mean, this is a drumstick. Absolutely beautiful. Well, thanks to Rebellion for making a great beer. Thanks for all of you to subscribe. Check us out. Saskatchewan's number one YouTube cooking show. Get on down to Rebellion. Support them. I'm a big fan. Make these recipes. Like, make this chicken. That was hot. <laughs> it's getting messy, folks. Mm. The beer really makes the batter so light and fluffy. Hitting it with the hot sauce. Unbelievable. Well, this is a home run, folks. Keep your eyes on your chicken. Look at that beauty. That's it. Catch us next week. I don't know how we're going to top this, but you know I'll try. Juicy chicken, anybody? Oh, yeah. And on this edition. some people are scared to use chicken or handle chicken if you want to prove to your family you are like a badass you could survive in the wilderness you know you could buy a chicken and cut it up kind of badass this is your ticket show them you really can like you know handle your business now you could always go buy some chicken breasts cut them into three that's how you get them to evenly cook you don't put a whole chicken breast in it if you cut it like KFC does. You know the little piece? It's the bottom. It's the bottom of the chicken breast. People are like, where'd they get the small chicken? No, it's not a small chicken, dudes. It's the bottom of the chicken breast. But I think it's fun to do this. First take off the take off the drumsticks. Like you just cut down. You can hear the crack. Take off the wings. I like to make them into like normal shaped chicken wings. So you cut them in two again. Right? Yeah, I can already tell. You're like, well, that's not that hard actually. No, it's not. And it's cheaper, right? Cut up your whole chicken. This one's being stubborn. There we go. Big piece of meat, that's why. Now, put the chicken in upside down. Just cut right through it.
that's the back. You're gonna use this to make a chicken stock out of it. We're not gonna waste that. Still lots of meat on there. Then you always cut from the back side, so you cut through the bones easier. Yeah. It takes a little bit of strength. I won't tell you it doesn't. If your husband's a butcher, your wife's a butcher, they're not lazy. They're putting, well, they got cutting saws. They're still not lazy. Beautiful. Now, the trick is to make this into thirds so it's going to cook the same time as the smaller pieces of chicken. And this knife. Yeah, I dulled this knife out pretty good. Beautiful, one third piece. There we go. One third, one third. So your breasts into three pieces. Put it in your bowl. I don't know, three minutes, that's all that took. They charge you a lot to do that at the store. So you buy your own chicken, cut it up, save yourself a ton of money.